Good day, Grade 7 students. I am Mr. Jun Michael Alejo, your MAPE teacher. How are you? I hope you are okay and feeling well. So this video lesson will help you to understand our lesson in music for this third quarter. But before we proceed, don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more videos and updates. For today's lessons, here are our learning objectives. Number one, discover the different vocal music of Mindanao with its function and content. Second, classify the musical instruments of Mindanao according to sound production. But before we proceed to our lesson, let's have a short review. I will going to show some features of instruments and you will going to identify what classification it is. Number one, flute. Here are the choices. Letter A, cordophone. B, aerophone. C, membranophone. Or D, idiophone. Choose your answer. Very good. The answer is letter B, aerophone. Number two, guitar. Here are the choices. Letter A, cordophone. B, aerophone. C, membranophone. Or D, idiophone. Choose your answer. Very good. The correct answer is letter A, cordophone. Last but not the least, number three, we have gong. Here are the choices. Letter A, cordophone. B, aerophone. C, membranophone. Or D, idiophone. Choose your answer. The correct answer is letter D. Very good. I hope you get the correct answers. Did you know that Mindanao is one of the largest islands in the Philippines? It is surrounded by four seas, namely Sulu Sea to the west, Philippine Sea to the east, Celebes Sea to the south, and Mindanao Sea to the north. Music is organic to these cultural communities which use in music in different social functions. Some of these are sacred in nature and then play an important role in the society. Here's our main topic for today. Our topic for today is all about music of Mindanao. We will be focusing on the vocal and instrumental. So the first category is vocal music. Vocal music of Mindanao may be categorized and classified according to their content and functions. It could be categorized as follows. We have life cycle, spiritual or religious, and narrative epic. Let's talk about life cycle. Life cycles are songs about life, death, work, and etc. Under life cycle, we have lullaby, love and courtship, entertainment, children's song, death, work, and war. Under lalabay, we have Langan Bata Bata of Tausug, Buwa of Subanon. Under love and courtship, we have Kambong of Manobo, Antang of Manobo, and Tarasul of Tausug. Under entertainment, we have Limbay of Manobo, and Dangdang Ay Bayok of Mandaya. Under children's song, we have Bomotat of Subanon. Under death, we have Iring Iring of Manobo and Ulaging of Manobo. Under work, we have Balatuking of Manobo. And last but not the least, war, we have Pamansag of Manobo and Panganganto of Manobo. Next category is spiritual and religious. When we say spiritual and religious, these are songs for ceremony, prayer, and worship. So under that, we have Salatul Huma. This is an Islam Friday prayer. We have Tarawe. This is a prayer during Ramadan. And last but not the least, we have the Kir of Maranao or the Kil of Magindanao. This, it means a dirge song after Vigil. For our last category, we have the narrative epic. When we say narrative epic, it means songs to narrate life and death, courtship, love, and about society. 
So under that we have Darangen of Maranao, Raha in the Patra of Magindanao, Gampatutu of Subanon, and last but not the least, Kuwaang of Manobo. There you have it! Those are the vocal music under Mindanao. So now, let's proceed to the instruments or the instrumental music of Mindanao. The instruments in Mindanao will be categorized in four classifications. Number one, we have cordophones, two aerophones, three idiophones, and four membranophones. Let's talk about first cordophone. When we say cordophones, these are the instruments that produce sounds from vibrating strings. So the first instrument under cordophone is kudiapi. When we say kudiapi, it is a two-string guitar and it is made of wood about one and a half meter long. Next instrument is kudlong. When we say kudlong, it is a two-string lute made of wood. One string is for the melody and the other is for the drone. Next instrument is saluroi. When we say saluroi, it is a polychondral bamboo tube zither of bagobo. Next chordophone is aduwag ai. When we say aduwag ai, this is a one string fiddle of the delaans. Next classification is aerophone. When we say aerophones, these are instruments that produce sound primarily by causing an air to freely vibrate. So the first instrument under aerophone is sahunai. When we say sahunai, this is a bamboo tube with six finger holes, bell made of lip, probably bamboo, and blue plastic ribbon. Next instrument is palandag. When we say palandag, it is a bamboo with a two by two finger holes and a protruding mouthpiece with a hole. Next instrument, under aerophone is suling. When we say suling, it is the smallest bamboo flute of the Maguindanawan. Next classification is idiophone. So when we say idiophone, these are the musical instruments which creates sounds primarily by way of the instruments vibrating through, shaking, or tapping. So the first instrument is kulintang. When we say kulintang, it is a set of eight gongs made up of bronze of a wooden stand and functions as the lead and central melodic instrument. After kulintang, we have gabang. So when we say gabang, this is a bamboo xylophone which or with 17 keys separated by metal nails. Next instrument is agro. When we say agro, it is usually performed while standing beside the instrument, holding the upper edge of its flange between the thumb and the other fingers with the left hand while striking the knob with the right hand. Next instrument is bebendil or babendil. It is a single narrow rim Philippine gong used primarily as the timekeeper. Next instrument under idiophone is what we call kulintang 18 yok. When we say kulintang 18 yok, this is a set of eight iron plates with balls of wooden frame. The plates are turned and planed as a kulintang. Next instrument is kubing. When we say kubing, it is a bamboo jaw harp of tirurai. And for our last classification is membranophone. When we say membranophone, these uh, musical instruments which produces sounds primarily by way of vibrating stretched membrane. So under membranophone, we have the bakan. When we say the bakan, it is a goblet shape of drum of Maguindanao and Maranao, which has a single held covered with goat, lizard, or snake skin and is struck with two thin bamboo sticks. Next instrument is gandang. When we say gandang, it is a two-headed cylindrical drum of Tausud, Samal, Bajau, Maranao, and Magindanao. You are now familiar with the different vocal and instrumental music of Mindanao. Now, 
Let's have an activity. For our activity number one, you need to complete the chart with the necessary data and see the example given. Under our activity, we have vocal music, its category, its function, and its place of origin. For example, our vocal music is Tuaang. The category of Tuaang is under life cycle. Its function is for oral literature, and its place of origin is from Manobo. Here is another activity. Now, let's see if you really understand our topic. For our activity number two, you need to classify the following instruments of Mindanao. Choose your answer from the box and complete the table with your answers below. Here are your choices. And write your answers here. And for our assignment, make a research about the different elements and characteristics of music of Mindanao. I hope you learned something for our today's lesson. Goodbye and see you!